Meanwhile, it was just a tragic day in Daytona Beach. A family is struggling to deal with the death of a mom and her baby after they were killed. Yeah, just awful. This happened at the Countryside Apartments on Bevel Road. West 2's Volusia County reporter Pamela Combe joins us live now. And we just got a hold of the 911 calls from overnight, Pamela. Yeah, we did. And, you know, the callers were trying to do everything they could to get people out of that apartment complex, out of that building. They were frantically going door to door, trying to get people out. One of them even pulled out a fire extinguisher to try and put out the fire himself. At around midnight, the coal started coming in. Neighbors saying a unit at the countryside apartment complex was on fire. It's burning and I think I'm going to try to go over there and try to like not shoot the apartment itself, but the one surrounding it and see if I can get people out of there. Some were knocking on doors, doing what they could to help. Anybody's home, please come out, there's a fire. If anybody's home, please come out. There's a fire. Samantha Stewart witnessed someone trying to put out the fire. Even the neighbor got a, a fire extinguisher and started putting it in the window and started doing that. So it helped contain the fire just a little bit. But the extinguisher was no match for the flames. There were four people inside the unit at the time. Police say it's currently being investigated as a murder after a mom was found with several stab wounds. A baby also died. I'm glad I was able to be there, but it's just really hard. I feel really bad for the baby and the mom. There is a five and a six year old who were also in the home and last we heard from police, they are at the hospital. A tragedy that struck right before Thanksgiving. This is a horrific incident. We are literally two days out from a holiday that centers around family. And this is what we're here dealing with this morning. Daytona Beach Fire says nearby residents were evacuated as some surrounding units had smoke damage. The home where the fire happened was totaled. And the two other children in the home at the time of the fire are in critical condition. Last we heard from police. Now police have yet to release the victim's identities, and we don't know just yet if they have any leads on a suspect. Reporting in Volusia County, Daytona Beach, Pamela Combe, West 2 News.